Today we're going to visit Zoo Miami, the fifth largest and only tropical zoo in the United States. Come with us as we show you koalas, elephants, crocodiles, lions, of course flamingos, and more. This is Magellan. And this is Greyhound. Where we make videos about epic road trips, kayaking, hiking, and other outdoor adventures. Consisting of 750 acres with four miles of walkways and over 3,000 animals of around 500 species, Zoo Miami can be an all-day affair. Our first stop is the Sumatran tiger, which are found only on the Indonesian island of Sumatra. There are now only three to 400 of these in the wild, making them critically endangered. These white-cheeked gibbons from Southeast Asia are pretty acrobatic. Look how adorable this little thing is. It's just disgusting. Oh my god, it's so cute! In the same area are the Bornean orangutan from the island of Borneo in Indonesia, the largest tree-dwelling mammals in the world. What's he got? He's like... It's like his blankie. He's like taking his blankie with him, man. Oh. It's his little buddy. The orangutan is one of our closest relatives and actually shares 97% of our DNA. This is the sloth bear back there. Supposedly they can smell termites three feet underneath the ground. So I don't know if that's what he's doing digging for termites, but he's doing something back there. Only found in Cuba and well, zoos. Ladies and gentlemen, the Cuban crocodile. With their rounded backs and tapered front, Malayan toppers can run through thick brush very fast. Can to come visit us? Oh, he is gonna come visit us. Well, maybe not. What is he doing? In the wings of Asia aviary, you'll find a wide variety of birds. So there's a peacock up here just hanging out on top of the building. Man, what are these red looking punk rock birds? We've been to a lot of zoos and a lot of times they keep the birds in cages, but this is super cool. We can actually go into this huge aviary where the birds are flying all around us. There's an inside section as well with giant gourami, catfish, and sharks and Southern River Terrapin too. This one's for my niece because she loves meerkats. Oh, well, these guys are fast. Oh, hello. They may as well be called mere crackheads. I mean, look at you, dude be tripping. And since we're still in the Asian section, Here's an Asian elephant, the smaller of the elephant species. See, unicorns are real. Here are the greater one-horned rhinos. <laughs> oh, look at these big suckers. Wow. And now for the king of the jungle, people. There's a couple of male lions here, as well as one female that we saw. It's funny, despite being fierce protectors, these lions can sleep up to 21 hours a day. And now for one of Greyhound's favorites. Oh, they're so cute. Oh my God, I can't. Look at them. This is a clouded leopard. There's a reason why there's a lot of fencing here. Looks like he's gonna eat your face off. What's fascinating is due to their flexible joints, they can climb down vertical tree trunks head first, climb upside down branches, and hang by its feet to catch prey with their front paws. Look at this strange and exotic animal. Squirrel. Now for an actual exotic animal the Komodo dragon. 
Look how big these things are. Wow. Oh man, there's an iguana on the loose. Can't say I'm used to seeing these around. The Dahol is a wild dog in Asia, and while they aren't known to attack people, they wouldn't make good pets. Greyhound. They look like dogs. Oh, I want one of these too. Oh, they're just dogs. Look, they even have dog houses. This is the Indian Guar, the world's tallest Indian cattle. From here, we decided to take a lunch break at the centrally located Oasis Grill. Another entry into our tour is behaving badly. Please pick up your trash, people. The Ibises do not need to eat french fries. This despite being no farther away than a few feet from multiple trash cans. This is a golden lion tamarind. He's catching the bugs. This jaguar wasn't doing much but sleeping. I can't blame him. I think I'd like a nap right now too. We then proceeded to the Amazon area. There's a lot of stuff here. Here's everyone's favorite. The anaconda. So How do you gross. feel about this? I hate it. it freaks me out. It's 42 feet. It's like, it's like this thick in the middle. Here's a view of a crocodile you don't get to see very often. A Mexican jungle frog, a stingray, some blue poison dart frogs. Lots of stinging and poison stuff here, you know? These are river otters. I prefer the regular otters. Just like our little Yorkie Zeus, they're pretty cute sleepers. Like the sloth bear, the giant anteater is known for eating termites and of course, ants. But more interestingly is that it does so with no teeth and instead a narrow two foot long tongue. What a weird looking animal. These are sea bus and Jamaican fruit bats. Oh, look at these tubes. I think these are bats flying through them. Behold, the African elephant. Look how dexterous he is with the tip of his, of his trunk. It's like, I'm not even that good with chopsticks. As we later found out, that's because their trunks have two, quote, fingers, which allow them to eat more food, which is why they are significantly larger than Asian elephants. They have different, bigger, floppier ears, too. These are reticulated giraffe, the tallest animals in the world. Hmm, I wonder why. It's giraffe feeding time. These giant Eland are definitely giant. They can weigh up to 2,200 pounds. Oh man, that's a lot of pizza. Despite being one of the more widespread gorilla subspecies, Western lowland gorillas are still critically endangered. He's like sniffing it. He's like, I don't know about this. It's not the edible that I, uh... It's not the brand edible that I normally get. He's checking this one out now. What kind of goodies are up here? Alright. This is a pygmy hippopotamus. It is very small. I mean, relative to a hippopotamus at least. <laughs> it's probably about the size of a very large dog. So while they are clearly smaller, in the hippopotamus family, they're anywhere from 350 to 600 pounds. Oh, okay. That's not a small dog. That's not a small dog. <laughs> it's a wombat. He was rubbing his butt before. Now he's just staring at me. Hello. 
Hello, I'm bad. And now it's koala time. This is Milo, and he is just in deep, deep sleep. Oh my god, I want a koala too. Look at him. He's so cute. Koalas sleep 18 to 22 hours a day. So it makes sense that we get to see him sleeping. You know what time it is? Otter time. North American River Otter Time. Look at these adorable things. I love otters. So adorable. This slide is a good way to get a better look at them too. John's coming. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Oh! Why are you walking back and forth? <laughs> the habits of animals. <laughs> they seem irate. This is the Conservation Action Center, an indoor exhibit about protecting wildlife and resources. Here you'll learn about what we have in common with polar bears, how to scoop up poop, why recycling is important, especially junk mail, and some fun kid things. All right, we're going in the snake. Adults too, I guess. And that's our brief tour of Zoo Miami. There are tons of other things to do and see, but that should give you a good idea, we hope. What was your favorite animal? Let us know in the comments. Otherwise, we'll see you on the trails or in the water. Is that your lion face? <laughs> good job, that's a, that's a good lion. <laughs>